Hello, Philip Cohen here from Social Archive with a quick note about why and when to post your papers. How many clicks are there between your readers and your work? How many should there be? How many readers will get there and how long will it take them? What does your practice in this regard say about you and your presence in the scholarly community? Here's some motivation. Time. How much better would your career be if every paper along the way reached its readers months or even years sooner? Access. Even when people have subscription access, more people read and share preprints because it's just more convenient and easier. Connection. You reach more people, you democratize that engagement, and you can own the process of publishing yourself. Here's some guiding principles for openness to consider. Accountability. You want your editors, reviewers, your colleagues, the public, journalists, activists, whoever you're trying to reach, to see you as a researcher with integrity who's willing to stand behind the work and be accountable. You want to be efficient with your work. You want it to reach other people who are going to use it to advance their research more efficiently, faster, better. Not just your paper, the data, code, all the other materials that you're sharing can help other people and the whole enterprise be more efficient. Also think about this as part of your practice of equity and diversity. You're empowering those scholars who have fewer resources or less training or smaller budgets by putting your materials in their hands for free sooner. And there are rewards for you. You make your work matter more, get more citations and kudos and grow your reputation by having your work out there more. Okay, so when are you gonna share? I lean towards earlier to get more feedback and plant your flag and establish that they're your ideas and the sooner the better. But I can understand if you're reluctant about sharing early drafts. So consider the conference stage. Now you're willing to have an audience. You can get more engagement at the conference and also show your accountability and lower barriers by sharing that link with people at the conference. A little bit more reluctant, consider the submission stage. Now you're ready to stand behind the work. You're ready to have anonymous reviewers see it. How about all the people who are potentially interested that are already out there? Don't worry so much about blinding. That's really the journal's problem. And as long as you're willing to stand behind your work, it's okay if you're identified with it. The acceptance stage for people who are even more reluctant it's got to be good enough now. It's already been accepted. Now let people read it without the delay that the journal is going to impose before posting it behind their paywall. And then last and least, the publication stage, what we call a postprint. Now you can let people at least read it for free and be, and be able to access it more conveniently. And that's really the least you can do. Okay. At Social Archive, you, after you post your paper, you can update it with new versions. If you change the title of the abstract, you can add or remove authors. And then when it, the time comes, link to the journal version. That will bring your readers and their links and their citations with you and your paper. So if somebody reads it now, then your paper's in a journal in a year and their paper's in a journal in two years, your paper will be cited in their paper. Everybody benefits. Get it out there sooner. Do remember, it's like publishing. When it's up, it's up. You can't take it down again. But also, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to change your mind. If we all realize that, we'll all be better off in a more sharing culture. So I hope you consider posting on Social Archive. Please contact us if we can help.